People are spending $400 on an umbrella when they have no job. They're going into debt, credit card debt, to buy lottery tickets because some states let you buy lottery tickets on a credit card. And then they're praying to get approved for a store credit card so they can save 15% off of their order. And now you're wondering why you're broke. 78% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck. That means if you walk out of your house right now and you look down the street and you look at your neighbors, Eight out of 10 of your neighbors don't have a couple thousand dollars in their bank account right now to protect them from a financial emergency. It doesn't matter where you live. This is the reality of what's going on in America right now. The majority of people are broke. I know this is gonna hurt a lot of people's feelings, but there's a lot more to this than just how much money you make. I've talked about people like Earl Crawley on our YouTube channel who make minimum wage and yet have built a multiple six-figure investment and savings account while having kids, while living a life. And then on the other hand, I've also talked about people like Henry's. If you remember, Henry is an acronym that stands for High Income Earner Not Rich Yet, and it's this movement of people that make at least six figures a year that are broke because their goal right now is not to save money or invest money, but to live this lavish lifestyle where they're spending all their money to look rich. This is where the vast majority of people get kind of offended and they put up the smoke screen and they say things like, oh, you shouldn't talk about money like that and you shouldn't worry about money when in reality, we all use money every single day. If money really didn't matter, then why are you going to work every single day to get a paycheck? Now, I get it. There's a lot more to life than money, okay? Money is just one small aspect of our life. But if you don't understand money, and if you don't have money, you become a slave to money because now you're drowning in debt and you have all these payments that you can't afford. So you're going to work every single day not to enjoy your life, not to do something fulfilling, but just so you can make your back payments. But if you understand money and you know how to use money and you can grow your money, now you can build your wealth. Now you can take care of yourself and your family financially and you have more money to help other people and to help your community because you have the resources to do that. If you're broke, you don't have the resources to help other people. When you're broke and you're drowning in debt, the only person that you're helping is your bank because you're paying these insane rates on money that you borrowed to buy things that you didn't even need. So many Americans put a lot of weight on luck when it comes to success and I'm speaking strictly financial success right now. They see somebody who's become wealthy or rich and they say, oh, this person must have become wealthy. They must have inherited the wealth or they must have just got lucky with their business or their investments or whatever. Luck is the reason why they're successful. If that was the case, why is it that 88% of millionaires are self-made? That means these are people who did not have millionaire parents. These are people who created their millions themselves. Nine out of 10 millionaires out there that are millionaires made it themselves. This is where you can say, oh, they had an advantage or they had this or they had that. We can spend the rest of our lives looking for advantages that other people had as to why they could become successful or you can spend that same time understanding how to use your money the right way, that way you can build your wealth because there's a system to understanding how to use your money. The first thing you gotta do is get your mindset right. I talked about this a little while ago on YouTube, but I was at Speedway getting gas and Speedway actually had this video on their screen that was talking about how they let you buy lottery tickets with credit cards. And I went in because I needed to get a pack of gum and there was a lady there who was frantic, who was freaking out because her credit card got rejected when she was trying to buy like $150 worth of lottery tickets. She was buying dozens and dozens of lottery tickets because this was her kind of hope of becoming successful. Spending all your money on lottery tickets or financing this lottery tickets is gambling and it's a straight path to broke. Not only are you not gonna win, but now you're gonna be spending all your future paychecks paying off these bad decisions. Let's talk about living this net zero lifestyle because this net zero lifestyle is keeping the majority of people broke and it is holding you back from becoming wealthy. The way it works is like this. The majority of people think, okay, I have $100 in my bank account right now. And if I have $100 in my bank account, that means I can go out and I can spend $100 on a pair of shoes because I have $100 in my bank account. If I have $100, I should be able to spend $100. This is net zero thinking, because if you have $100, you can spend $100. This mindset kills people's wealth, because if you have $100, you cannot afford to spend $100. This is why I keep saying that your income is now what determines if you're gonna become wealthy or not, and your income is now what's gonna determine if you're gonna live broke or not. It's what you do with your money. If you make $100,000 and then you spend $100,000, guess what, you're broke. If you make $20,000 a year and you spend $20,000, 
guess what? You're still broke. The very first thing you have to understand is you are not allowed to spend every dollar that you have because some of your money needs to be saved to protect you from emergencies and some of your money needs to be invested to help build your wealth, okay? If you have $100 in your bank account, you cannot afford to spend $100. This becomes even more true if this money that's in your bank account is not yours. So when I was in law school, I had this friend or acquaintance rather that was in my law school with me and I was talking to him one day about what his plans were for the evening and then he told me that he was going out to buy a really nice umbrella. I thought it was kind of funny that his like evening activity was to buy an umbrella but I understand it because you know we're in a rainy area and it's not fun to go walk around when it's wet outside so I told him that I bought my umbrella from Home Depot and I paid like five dollars from it and he told me, now remember, this is when we were in law school, okay? He did not have a job. He told me that he wanted to go out and buy this really fancy $400 umbrella. He showed it to me on his phone. And I was like, $400 for an umbrella? Who spends $400 on an umbrella? And he told me that he had this extra cash from his student loans in his bank account, so he wanted to use this money to buy and invest in this umbrella. So when he goes to these attorney interviews, he's gonna look really fancy with his $400 umbrella in his hand. That is net zero thinking on steroids. Now you assume, oh, I have $400 in my bank account, even though this money is not yours, this is money from the bank, and you feel like you need to spend this money because this cash is in your bank. When you live this lifestyle of spending every dollar you have in your bank, whether it's your money or someone else's money, it's even more expensive when it's someone else's money, but when you have this need to spend every dollar you have on things that don't make you money, like an umbrella, you are going to be broke. The solution to this net zero thinking is to create a system where you are not allowed to spend all the money you have. You have to create the system where you know that you have to live below your means. This is where our rule of five comes into play. Our rule of five says, if you cannot buy five of them, you cannot afford one of them. So if you have $100 in your bank account, and we're talking about things you don't need to survive, if you have $100 in your bank account and you wanna go buy something, you can only afford to buy something that costs $20. Because if you have $100 in your bank account, this $20 thing is what you can afford to buy five times over. So if you cannot buy it five times, you can't afford to buy it one time. If you enjoyed this short clip from my longer videos, here's another clip that I think you'll love. And while you're at it, if you're interested in learning more about how to start generating passive income, our team put together an amazing guide on how to start generating passive income for free. All you gotta do is click that button right over there. Thank you for watching, and as always, keep hustling. <laughs>